And I, the Wrestle Vessel, would just like to give a little plug to some of my merchandise for sale. We got wrestling videotapes, wrestling DVDs, both ones on clearance. We got autographed cards, autographed 8x10s, rare 1989 and 1990 8x10s released by the WWF. We got some classic books. Um, both wrestling, sports, and other kind of books. We got a Spin Fighter set of Razor Ramon and Bam Bam Bigelow, and much more. So please contact me, Mr. Wrestling Tape One, on YouTube, aka the Wrestle Vessel, and watch more great videos of the Wrestle Vessel and the Aftershock right here on YouTube. Welcome to One Minute. What the hell? So here we are playing Doom for the Super Nintendo. As you can see here. And we are immediately in the game right here. And the first thing that you notice between the PC and the Super Nintendo version is that the Super Nintendo version has a much choppier frame rate. The uh, first level definitely looks reminiscent to the PC version, it looks pretty identical. Uh, believe it or not, the Super Nintendo version of Doom did not use the Doom engine, it used some type of a custom uh, engine for the Super Nintendo. Of course, the graphics, uh, the graphics look pretty damn good for uh, a console that came out, say, 1989, 1990, around that time frame. Uh, definitely looks pretty damn impressive for a 16-bit console. As you can see, the characters right here. There is some drastic differences between the PC and the Super Nintendo version. They left out some levels. Uh, there is some graphical dif differences in some places. Uh, supposedly, the Super Nintendo version does have more detail than other console versions. It's kind of hard to believe, but somehow I guess that's true. Uh, I would probably say that the uh, Jaguar version is probably a little bit more superior than this version right here, but supposedly it's, uh, the Super Nintendo version does have more detail on the maps. And this uses the uh, Super FX2 chip, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the chip was actually inside the cartridge, I believe, and uh, that actually gave Super Nintendo enough power to actually play this game, and something does look different here. Uh, I am used to playing the PC version, I think this portion of the level right here does look a little different on the PC. We're at the end of the level right here, so if we push this button right here, you actually don't see anything uh, being pushed at all. This goes immediately to the finish screen. Like on the uh, DOS PC version, you actually see the, the button light up. Here we are moving to the next level. And here we are on the next level right here. Now I remember owning this game on the uh, Super Nintendo. I believe it had a black cartridge. Uh, the game itself, it, there might have been a red cartridge. I remember there was a red cartridge for uh, a Super Nintendo game and a black cartridge. It's either one or the other. And uh, the game itself on the Super Nintendo ran pretty identical to what this is right here. And interestingly enough, there was a Sega 32X version, which I still currently own. I personally like the uh, 32X version better. I do feel like it's uh, a better version of Doom than uh, the Super Nintendo version. Uh, but for what it's worth, the uh, Super Nintendo version is a pretty mediocre version of Doom in my opinion. But for a console version, it's not that bad. Especially for this console, so what do you expect from it? It's a 16-bit console, so you can't really expect miracles. Now the sound, there is some sound differences in this game as well. Like the chainsaw, for example, I heard sounds completely different than the uh, PC version. And just killed myself. I don't recall there being too many Super Nintendo first-person shooters, so... There's probably only a handful of them. I know Wolfenstein 3D was on uh, Super Nintendo. And there was a Noah's Ark 3D. And I'm not sure if there was anything else, but there was a very, very...
small library of first-person shooter games. Uh, this happens to be one of them right here, and I guess the game itself, what it's worth, is really not that bad. If you don't mind the choppy frame rate, but it actually runs pretty good, surprisingly. Uh, don't expect it to be as good as the PC version. Uh, nonetheless, the game itself is actually a pretty decent console version of the game. Not the greatest, not the worst, but it's still playable. And if I guess if you had the Super Nintendo back in the day, you're probably uh, in for a treat. Because uh, if you didn't have a computer, this was this was basically your way of playing Doom. Thank you.